Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today we're going to be doing an earring reveal from out of the Stardust Opal Bath Bomb from Royal Essence. The scent description for this bath bomb is listed as a surreal mix of light musky undertone with fresh and velvety fragrance base notes. Now this bath bomb is really unique in the sense that the item of jewelry that is inside this bath bomb is going to come with a guaranteed stardust opal gemstone, whether that be a pair of earrings, a ring or a necklace. And I was actually really surprised by the color of this bath bomb. I know that on camera it does look very sort of yellow, but in person it was definitely more so a green, kind of like a fluoro green. And I also really wasn't sure if I was going to like the fragrance of this bath bomb because from the scent description alone, I actually thought that it was going to be like really floral. Thankfully though, it was actually really sort of light and fresh, not too overpowering at all. We also definitely got some amazing bath art from this bath bomb. All three of the gemstone bath bombs that I've used now, the Aurora Borealis and the Rose Quartz, they've all had absolutely stunning bath art and I really enjoyed the watercolors. And the bath bombs themselves are so gigantic. I did not think that a single one would float, but as you can see in this video, and if you go ahead and check out the other two that I mentioned just before, all three bath bombs floated perfectly well, made some amazing bath art, as I literally just said. Basically, I have just been thrilled to death with all three of these gemstone bath bombs. And the fragrance of all three bath bombs is so fitting to the gemstones, in my opinion. And again, as I said before, the color was just so unexpected but the water, just absolutely beautiful. We got some great bath art, some really pretty green water. And before we get too much further into the video, if you do not know who Royal Essence are and or how they work, essentially they are a company which puts hidden jewelry on the insides of their bath bombs, candles, body scrubs, and etc. So obviously, as you could imagine, with the bath bombs, you just go ahead and pop them into the water, watch them foam and fizz and do their thing, creating their lovely bath art, etc, etc. And then you can either wait for the bath bomb to completely dissolve before grabbing out your capsule, or you can be just like me. In other words, super impatient. And what I like to do is I like to try to pull the capsule away from the bath bomb once I'm able to do so. And then more often than not, I will actually just pick up the rest of the bath bomb and just kind of crush it up in my hands. Such a super satisfying thing to do in my personal opinion. And then after you've had your soak in the tub, you go ahead and dry off that little capsule. And inside of this capsule, you are going to find a piece of aluminium foil. Now, as you can see in the footage, the little piece of aluminium foil that we got from out of the bath bomb today has the initials SO written on the top. This is obviously to signify that the jewelry inside of this capsule is going to contain a stardust opal. Now, once you have removed the aluminium foil, as this is a pair of earrings, it will be double baggied. So you just go ahead, obviously now, and remove those two baggies and you will find a little code generally stuck to the outside of one of the bags when it does come to earrings. With this code, just put it aside for now because we'll need it in a second. So the other item that you will find inside of your little baggie will be a little piece of paper. And upon this little piece of paper, you're going to find the URL to go to in order to put that little code in from just before in order to find out the appraisal value of your item of jewelry. So the appraisal value that I was able to get from today's pair of earrings was 110 Australian dollars. And you guys, let me tell you, I am absolutely in love with this pair of earrings. They're so unique. That little kind of diamond square type thing with the little opal at the bottom. They are so unique. I am just obsessed. Unfortunately, one of the posts is a little bit bent on the back. Which is another reason why after today's video, there are not going to be any more earring reveals from me on this channel. But regardless, you guys, if you are enjoying my content and you would like to see more in the very near future, I hope that you will consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, as well as clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. If you enjoyed today's video in particular and you would like to show myself and or the channel some support, you can do so by either clicking on the like button and or by letting me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very much for watching today. And as always, you guys, until next time, bye-bye.